Welcome to DIYEasyCrafts.com, how to make your own fish-shaped picture frame. Now these hand-carved wood picture frames are very unique and eye-catching. They can be made in a variety of different sizes and shapes, different fish. Uh, this is a small self-standing one that I use on a, uh, on a shelf. And they can also be made uh, larger wall hanging uh, displays. Some people actually be, make multiple fish and you have a small school of fish uh, swimming across your wall. Very easy to make. We're going to start out with um, regular pine that you can get at Home Depot. Uh, this one is about a 1 by 10. I drew the basic shape of the fish that I wanted to create on that pine. And then I just use a, a power drill to drill a couple holes through the inside. Uh, that inside circle is where the picture is going to show through. I then just use a jigsaw to cut out uh, that shape. In this particular case, I'm leaving that fin in place that'll kind of protrude into the picture a little bit. Once the inner circle is cut out, I'm going to use a uh, router. And I'm going to router um, a groove around the entire uh, circle, just a small quarter inch groove, uh, just enough to allow uh, plexiglass to fit in um, into that groove just like the glass of a picture frame. Doesn't have to be real neat. We're going to cut the plexiglass to fit uh, whatever opening we've created. I always like to do the, the inside hole and the routering before I cut out the outside uh, shape of the fish. So after that um, hole is routed, I'm going to go back to the jigsaw and just finish cutting out uh, the shape of the particular fish frame that I'm working on. Again, this is a very quick and easy process. Now, after uh, the fish is cut to shape, we're going to start rounding the edges and creating a little bit of uh, detail. I use a disc grinder with a flap sanding wheel. I use this to kind of give the, uh, the fins a 3D effect. Uh, and also, I use it to round over uh, all of the hard edges from the uh, from the jigsaw. You can start to smooth uh, the fish so that there's no hard uh, edges along the whole outside diameter. And you can use that same uh, disc grinder uh, to start to carve or grind uh, the fins uh, smaller, smoother, um, so that they kind of come to a point. You'll see in a second what I've done here. Uh, the disc grinder moves quite a bit of material quite quickly. Don't worry about all the rough roughness, we're going to sand all that smooth. When you're all done sanding, you can actually use the edge of the disc grinder to add a little bit more detail onto the fins just by uh, creating little notches. And a lot of these you're not going to appreciate until you stain the fish. I'm then going to move uh, to a Dremel grinder. This is one of my favorite little tools. It's just a cutting wheel and it's just perfect for creating lines. Um, I'm going to create a, a line or two, a curved line or two for the gills of the fish. And then I'm going to use that same um, cutting wheel uh, to create the mouth of this angel fish. While I have that tool out, I'm going to add some additional detail uh, to each one of the fins. And just creating lines, it doesn't have to be uh, anything real precise, it just adds a little bit of character to the finished piece. Uh, to the finished piece. I'm going to do the exact same thing to the tail fin, just adding a little bit more character, a few curved lines, just to distinguish the fins from the body of the fish. Uh, the next step, I'm just going to use a small drill. I'm going to drill a hole in about halfway through the wood just to create um, the eye of the angelfish. And that's, that's pretty much it as far as the carving. I mean, you, you, the fish is basically done. Um, I've, I've actually sanded it a little bit smooth. And then I'm going to add some stain. You can stain this in a light wood. Um, I prefer the dark. Um, or you could not stain it and paint it. You could use a variety of different colors, uh, whatever suits the decor of your home. These fish frames also make great presents. Once the stain is finished, you, you kind of get um, a feel for what the finished product is going to look like. 
after staining and after it dries for a full 24 hours, I am going to add um, a coat of clear coat, either polyurethane or in this particular case I used lacquer. And the next step is just going to be to cut the plexiglass. Um, I have some thin plexiglass I just got down from Home Depot. I use a black magic marker and I run the marker right along uh, the inside edge of the routered groove. Um, now when I cut the plexiglass, I'm going to use that same cutoff wheel on the Dremel grinder. And I know if I cut, if I grind away all of that um, marker, I know that that piece will then fit uh, inside uh, that routered groove. I like using the cutoff wheel on the Dremel grinder, um, especially cr for creating these curved cuts in the plexiglass. It's just very fast, very easy. I will put up a link for uh, for cutting plexiglass. Uh, do another short video that I did. Once the plexiglass is added, uh, the only additional uh, thing that you'd want to add is a small hole in the back. Uh, for a, a nail into the wall to hold the fish in place. Uh, or for the self-standing frames, I just put a, a small dowel that protrudes off the back and just acts as a stand. And these are the finished products. You can see the, uh, the detail in the fin and the, the eye and the mouth and the fins. A very unique uh, tropical fish-shaped hand-carved wood picture frame. You can also do these with a variety of different creatures. Um, I also did some very nice sea turtles, which I'm going to cover in a different video. Uh, I hope you like this video. Please check us out on the web at DIYEasyCrafts.com. Uh, please like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you very much.